What I see is a joining of two things into the mining and society scouting merit badge. Scouting from its inception has been a significant developer of youth, teaching them leadership skills and how to be a positive contributor to the society. Secondly, mining and the products that are derived from it make scouting and the economy of the United States successful. If, if you're thinking about going after this merit badge in mining, the reason to do that is to understand what the world around you is made of. Our society would not be here unless you had all of these commodities that are put together and that you use on a daily basis. The scout should have a good time going through the pamphlet, going through the requirements. Some of it requires outdoor activity, some of it requires visiting a mine, a mining museum. I have the pleasure of serving as a merit badge counselor. I counsel over 10 merit badges. My involvement in scouting has been helping young scouts earn the geology merit badge for many years because I'm a geologist. When I got into high school, my friends formed an explorer troop. I started scouting at the age of 16. So I became very involved when my son, my youngest son, got involved in scouting as a, I believe it was a first grader. I was very fortunate at a young age of 14 to achieve the rank of Eagle Scout. As a youth, I was a Cub Scout, graduated into Boy Scouting. All of us went into Explorer Scouting. About 10 years ago, I was chairman of SME's Government Education and Mining Committee when the proposal for a mining merit badge was brought to our committee. When I heard that it finally was approved by the Boy Scouts and that we were going to be able to introduce it at the 2013 Jamboree, I wanted to make sure I was there and take part. We've been developing the requirements for the uh, Mining and Society Merit Badge and writing the text for the handbook. I've had the pleasure of chairing the advisory panel that's working with the content development team that's chaired by Stan Kurkowski and Bob Pruitt, and the opportunity to be involved in the uh, Boy Scout program with SME has been a very rewarding experience. And between the two teams, we've been able to successfully develop this pamphlet identify the requirements for earning the badge. One of the things that uh, the requirements will stress is that if it can't be grown, it has to be mined. And in that, we ask the scouts to look around the room, look around their immediate environment, pick out things that are grown, things that are mined, and through that, they'll learn that uh, we've depended on mined products for as long as we've existed. The merit badge identifies in the pamphlet, the different types of minerals. It also speaks to the uh, challenges or processes involved in extracting the mineral. One of the things that we talk about uh, in this merit badge, as well as others, is the, is the idea of safety. The pamphlet will cover both underground and surface mining and the types of formations or the types of ore deposits. Processing is another chapter. And what we do there is we talk about how we have to purify uh, a mineral. The other thing that we do is uh, it can be just a plain separation, large sizes into small sizes. Sustainability is certainly a part of the mining process. Uh, once we are finished with a mine site, it has to be reclaimed, restored, and then put to uh, further use. Uh, one of the things that the pamphlet covers, the Mining and Society covers, is the future of mining. We look in three different aspects of the future. One of them is mining deep space or near space. The other thing is that we will be looking at mining the ocean floor. And the third thing is mining the waste stream. The mining pamphlet will also explain what kind of career opportunities there are for both professionals and uh, technical specialists. It goes from the people who actually work in the mine as loader operators, haul truck operators, to accountants, mining engineers, geologists, electricians.
my involvement also with the scouting has been attending the last two national jamborees where we have introduced the idea of a mining merit badge and gotten scouts excited about earning them and so it's been great to see their interest. We were trying to introduce mining and society and explain the connection and we really reached a lot of the kids there. What was really great was to see the light go off in their eyes when they finally got it, how mining played an important role in their lives every day. I would really like the opportunity to be a merit badge counselor for the Mining and Society Merit Badge. I would love to be a merit badge counselor for Mining and Society. I would very much like to be a uh, participate in being a counselor for the Mining in Society Merit Badge. It's, it, it's fantastic for the youth, I think. So in terms of uh, seeking individuals who would uh, be good counselors for the BSA Merit Badge, it could be anybody who has an experience in mining or the minerals profession. And so I believe there's lots of opportunities for adults to work with the youth. SME particularly through the Minerals Education Coalition, has an effective program of reaching out to teachers and to the public and to school children in terms of uh, this understanding of the role of minerals in our society, in our way of life. I believe that the Mining and Society Merit Badge uh, furthers that opportunity to let young people know and their families know, again, about the role of minerals in our way of life. And scouting gave me that confidence and that making sure I had the right tools, the right equipment, etc. And that's an essential trait to learn uh, to be successful today. And all in all, accomplishing a merit badge is like a major stepstone in your life. And you can use that as a platform to launch into a new arena. I would just like to, to re-emphasize that I would not be where I am at today in my profession if it wasn't for scouting. And that led me in the direction that uh, into the mining industry. So, scouting, thank you.